What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass. Today we're going to do a quick video covering different troubleshooting techniques if your products are not displaying on your Shopify store. Before we dive into it, I just want to say if you enjoy this video and you enjoy Shopify content, I would love it so much if you could hit that like and subscribe button below as we're currently on the road to 3000 subscribers. So let's first dive into our first trouble technique here. And so I've clicked into this testing Shopify store, hit products on the left hand side. I'm going to click into this product black shorts. The first thing you want to check here is the product status. So it's going to be on the top right hand side. You want to make sure that it's set to active. You want it to be set to draft here. And you want to make sure that it's available on your desired location. So this one is the online store. So let's say it was off, for example, I could click into sales channels and apps, click online store and hit done, then just hit save in the top right here. And that's going to make sure that's available. And when it's available as well, it's going to show a little green circle here, as well as the active head on top. The next thing you want to look at is to make sure that the inventory level is above zero and that there is enough there available. I can see here that there are five available, but you can set this yourself. Also, if you want Shopify to track your inventory too. The next thing we'll look at here is the collection settings. So let's say there is a surfing collection here and I want those black shorts to show on this page here. What you can do is you can head into your Shopify store. You want to head into your collection section under products. So it's going to be the surfing collection. And you want to make sure that these conditions here match the actual product. According to this collection's conditions here, it has all conditions. So if there are multiple conditions, it must equal both of them. So the first one is that the product tag is equal to surfing. I could also say the product title contains, ends with, starts with, is equal to, which is contains surfing as well. So with these two conditions here, it must match both of them as all conditions. I'm gonna switch this to any condition as it's gonna be a little easier to add these details to the product. Once you hit save there, it's gonna show at the bottom which products are actually included. So as I can see here, the black shorts are not included. So I wanna open up that product page again and I can do some edits. So if I head into black shorts, go to the right hand side, I can see the product organization. So here I can put the categories, the type, the vendor, the collections, where I can manually push those in there as well as the tag. If so I go back to the conditions here, the product tag has to be equal to surfing or the product title has to contain surfing. And it's any of these conditions, so I can do either or. I could add it to the product title, but I'm gonna add it to the product tag. If I put surfing in here, I can check this off, and then it's gonna show that it's underneath there, so it has been included. Once I hit save and I reload the surfing collection page, I can see my black shorts product. If I go back to the collection page as well, and I reload that page, it's gonna show black shorts as being active in this collection here. Overall, that was a really quick tutorial here on why your product might not be displaying on your Shopify store or on your collection pages. We looked at how to make sure that the product is active and that there's inventory in stock. We also looked at the collections. You want to be able to see that the product is active. We also looked at any versus all conditions to be met. We went through and tested one of those as well. So again, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment. I do really want to quickly mention our sponsored profit calc. It's a one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your store with real-time calculations. And there's a link in the description below to access a 15-day free trial on the Shopify app listing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover profit calc. The affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today.